Welcome back, East Asia Super League fans, to Full Court Press, your source for the top basketball headlines this side of the Pacific. All the way from Singapore, I'm your host, Boom Gonzalez. Come with me, and I'll fill you in on the top hoops headlines. He never takes the cup home. Congratulations, guys. Now, for a guy like Mark Kagiwa, a Hinebra lifer, 14 years may have felt like an eternity to recapture the Philippine Cup title, but it was definitely worth the wait. Barangay Hinebra has now won their 13th PBA title and fifth since Coach Tim Cohn joined them in 2015. Now, Coach Tim Cohn has now won all three PBA conferences since he joined the franchise. A true masterclass in coaching. Congratulations, Coach, and Barangay Hinebra. Now let's head over to Japan and the B-League. The top-ranked Utsunomiya Brex lost more games last week than they had all season long, which was just two games. Brex had no answer for the Kawasaki Brave Thunder's fast first offense, losing 67 to 60. The Nagoya Diamond Dolphins looked impressive and moved within two games of first place in the West. Leo Lyons went off last Saturday, amassing 18 points, and rising star Takumi Saito had 19 points and 8 assists. Now what we thought may be a championship preview between Ryuku and Alvark Tokyo wasn't so pretty. Alvark ran away with it. Daiki Tanaka was lights out, shooting 60% from the field. Kevin Jones and Deshaun Thomas also scored in double digits. Now over in the CBA bubble, Fujian was previously 0-11, but finally got a win with the help of Andrew Nicholson. And here's what he had to say after the game. And unfortunately though, the next game was up against Guangdong. At the first dub of the night, Fujian fans, we gotta keep them coming. Just here getting some treatment now. Got practice tomorrow, gotta get better. Got an, uh, another tough game coming up. See what we can do and keep playing like this. I think we'll be in good shape. Guangdong is dealing with some injuries, and that's when your best players have to step up. Marshawn Brooks had 60, yes, 6 0, along with 12 assists and 8 boards on Tuesday night in a performance for the ages. The Shandong heroes, Gao Shi Yen, is also putting up big numbers. He racked up a triple double which was the first time a Chinese player has done so in over 1,000 days, and he did it over last weekend, and then put up 35 points and 17 assists on Tuesday. Now back in Korea with our friends, the Gorang Orion Orions, head coach Ang Il Jin recorded his 100th win last week, becoming only the 18th head coach to do so in the KBL. The Orions are on fire as they are on a four-game winning streak and have risen up the ladder, tying for the first-ranked spot. Now, let's take a look at the top teams from around the region. Congratulations to Barangay Hinebra! It's becoming a three-team race over in the CBA and Liaoning is now on a six-game winning streak. The B-League's East and West Districts are both tied for first place. And first place is also up for grabs in the KBL. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to join us next time for more EASL Full Court Press. I'm your host, Boom Gonzalez. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.